What is up YouTube, welcome back to another video. And this is my second video of the day, but this is not a vlog, this is not any kind of, you know, random content. Today I actually want to teach you guys how to cop any hyped item from Supreme, um, both manually and using bots. So let's go ahead and get started. So one of the most basic methods is actually using autofill, right? Which a bunch of people have been getting declined on Supreme using Chrome extension autofills. But today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to set up your autofill using Google Chrome without extensions, with like actually using the Google Chrome settings. So all you gotta do is you open up Google Chrome, you go to this three dots, go to settings. After you're in settings, go to the search bar and search up for autofill scroll down autofill and set up your address right there's going to ask you for your name your street address your city everything um the zip code even though you're filling it out here you still have to fill it out manually on the screen website i'll show it to you guys in a bit set up your credit card be sure that you have everything set up right yeah so after you have everything set up head to the supreme website all right so after you head to the supreme website go to the actual shop you know view off go to for an item that's not sold out so just click let's say the boxers and you want them and small just add them to cart check out now of course on the screen drop this screen's gotta be way more live just grab the checkout page right um maybe it's gonna be way more laggy when you actually get to the screen drop this i'm recording this a day earlier so you guys can see so all you gotta do is like you gotta be super quick press the first key of your name then down key enter is gonna fill out your whole thing except for the zip code be sure to fill that in manually and then here you do the same thing you press the first number of the credit card it's gonna fill it out then you press the down key press enter and then you have to fill the cvv manually but that's not going to be such a hard problem so after you have everything be sure to check this box and then process the payment of course i'm going to get declined because i'm not using actual information you know so process the payment and yeah it's actually telling me that the zip code is wrong and stuff but this is the most basic way and you cannot get declined because some people after filling in their ZVV manually they still get declined but this time you're filling you're actually filling out your name because you're typing the first key and you're filling out your card number because you're typing the first key and then you're checking out the box so you have to do this in less than four seconds so i really recommend that you try this just filling out random information and practicing like a couple hours before the drop and if you do that and you get really good you can actually check out in four seconds so i really recommend this way and it's a safe way you don't get declined that often so yeah i'll get i'll talk about the captcha in a bit so yeah that's pretty much it for the autofill now let's just talk about the captcha so a bunch of people are asking and still have the doubts on how to you know not get captcha which is the supreme protection that they use you know and we see this in a bunch of websites so this is actually a bunch of ways to avoid getting captured so first of all sign into your google chrome account be sure to after you click on your profile right there you click there and then you click manage people and add a person after you add a person you just tap the random ass name you put whichever emoji you save it and well ask like after you sign in of course i don't need a new profile because i already have this one but after you're signed in right there's a high chance that you'll get five free tokens um by tokens i mean like five free chances on actually checking out without getting capture so that's a really great advantage i've tried it myself and it's worked a bunch of times i mean you can still get capture there's not a guarantee that you're not gonna get um capture but this is one of the methods of course there are more the next thing that you got to do is sign into your gmail account and that's basically gonna help you and save you a lot of more time so sign in right there i don't want you guys to see my email so but 
be sure to have another tab with your email open like your gmail and stuff and that's the second method and so as a third method i recommend going to wordpress.org no way actually go to the link which is login.wordpress.org slash register i'll take you to this site and just create a dummy account you know you don't have to have this legit just go ahead and create your your thing gmail.com and subscribe and shit you know create your account and yeah just use any website you know like select all this stuff you can save your information and you gotta check your email of course just create an account after you create it's gonna like tell you that you have to like solve a captcha but after you fill it it's gonna get you more tokens and that means more chances of you not getting captcha so that's basically it for the tips on avoiding captcha now let's move on ahead and talk about bots so there's a bunch of bots out there in the market there's their super cop bot force cop and casper cop there's a bunch heated sneaks bot there's a bunch of bots but the one that i've seen in most videos that have success is is force cop it's actually my second time using it you know i tried it for the box i was bought the servers even like, crashed like the us didn't even have like sell out times like accurate sell out times so yeah you can just get force cop i'm gonna sign in real quick so after you log into your force cop bot all you gotta do is go down here and you press this button which is gonna take you to this page where you set everything up so just go ahead and fill out i mean you want to use autofill on top of this but it's just to fill that out quicker you know and just do that real quick be sure it's not expired and for the cpv i recommend leaving it blank you know that prevents you from getting banned because they possibly know that you're using a bot you know so to make it more legit you have to type at least one character and not check out within three three seconds right so you just click save and you can do a bunch of methods you can use the keyword finder which after you buy the bot they send you the keywords so you can always search the items that you want up or you can simply you know press any size add to cart and check out and after you have everything set up you just have to actually select the item that you want is gonna add it to cart so i'm gonna show you my preference here um for the ref refresh interval I use five seconds and that's just I mean, I don't actually need that because I, I don't use the keyword finder. Just do it manually, like manually and stuff. Then for the checkout delay, just click it. And I do five seconds, but most of the people do around three seconds. But I just don't want to get banned, you know, so I play it safe. So I just go to click save and press start, right? And after you press start, it's going to take you to the actual you know supreme website is basically gonna be way easier to add something to your cart you just need to click it it's gonna do everything else for you i'll take you to the checkout page all you gotta do is fill in the cvv you set you process your payment and we did not even get captcha you know even though it did like it's not letting me process the payment because it's saying that it must be the same like I mean, none of these are accurate, you know, so it's not letting me check out, but either way, it would have shown me the captcha, so it didn't, which means it works, but yeah, you just got to try the methods that I taught before on how to avoid captcha, so that is pretty much all the knowledge that I can show you about getting hyped items. Um, hyped items go away like super fast so you gotta be super quick especially the manual coppers like if you're using a ball you basically have everything on on your hands you know it's gonna be way easier you just gotta fill in the cvv but for manual coppers i have way more respect because basically like you have to do all this stuff by yourself and if, if, if you beat boss i mean 
that means you're a fucking legend, you know? So, all right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. It's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. I really hope you guys found it helpful in any way. And I really wish you the best of luck on tomorrow's Supreme Drop. I really hope you guys get all the items that you want, even if it's for resale or you guys are keeping them. So good luck using the methods that I just told you. And for you guys that are copying manually, good luck. It's gonna be, you guys gotta be fucking fast, you know. I'm gonna do a manual cop and a bot cop and compare them and see which one is faster, you know. And I've seen that, I've, like, I've seen that kind of videos out there, but I haven't seen it in recently. So why not, I gotta try that tomorrow for the live cop. So yeah, that's basically gonna wrap it up for this video as I said before. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all the support. And if you guys enjoyed it somehow, be sure to leave a like if you wanna support me. And also feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed content like this. I will be doing more random videos like this. I even uploaded another vlog today of my brother and me, we were basically trying to cop the easy blue tins, but we took a fat L, you know. So if you want to watch random content like that, live cops, unboxing video, as I said before, feel free to subscribe. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. And be sure to take care, stay tuned, and peace out.